Hey guys and welcome to a new video. It's about time to check out this delirium stuff and I'm not talking about delirium orbs in maps. I'm talking about the real deal. Well, it's that's actually weird. I think the real deal is actually those tier 16 uh, fully juiced max delirium things. But no, I'm talking about simulacrum. So you got those with like 300 splinters, blah, blah, blah. Is it good or not? Nobody knows. I've seen people running a bunch and say like it's not worth it. I've seen other people that say like, dude, it's no way you cannot make profit with those, you know? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a sample size of 60 simulacrums, run all of them, write down every single loot. I have here certain stash tabs that are empty, like currency, fragments, uh, we have like diff cards, essences, fossils, maps. Uh, three quad tabs to uh, put in stuff, you know, like we're gonna run all of these 60. It's going to be a science project, obviously. It's comparable to the magic finding project that we did a couple of days ago. So I'm going to tell you guys now what we're up to. Then we're gonna do all of that stuff. I'm going to give you the build guide of the build that I'm using for the clearing the um, 20 of 20 waves. And in the end, we're gonna have the results video that will show hopefully how much money did we made on a simulacrum on a sample size of 60 divided through to see how much profit or loss was the average of doing so. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of science project. I would really appreciate if you hit this one here because it will take quite some time. A simulacrum, I've done a couple yet, but only one single time with the 2020. This was with this character. The other characters were not really optimized for that. Like 2000 life is probably not the best thing to do. Anyways, so running a simulacrum takes about, I would say roughly 20 to 30 minutes. I did not really uh, had a countdown when I ran it, but um, we're gonna see later on. I'm going to show you a full run at the end of this video so you can take a look on how uh, this looks like with this build, for example. And then we're gonna write down every single uh, penny here that we are getting. So there will be more, you know, I, I will write down the currency, the fragments, as I said, the possible scarabs, uh, prophecies, oils, blighted. The thing is you can get literally everything in the game in these uh, simulacrums as far as I saw. Even leak specific items, I had a couple of those. And then we're gonna write down the traits that we had, maybe uh, empower gems, we're gonna use incubators and we just gonna see is this simulacrum worth it or is it better to just sell it for 90 chaos at the moment? So this whole tab here cost me 38 exalts. I'm going to run all of these in the next two or three days probably or even longer. It depends how long is the average and how motivated I am because if you do one certain... Um, strategy um, then it's kind of getting boring quite fast and if you run um, simulacrums like all day long like two or three days you you know you, you probably know this feeling once you start farming burial chambers and you not stop after like 10 maps you really go for at 200 maps per day you feel like yeah you know it's not that great but still i'm going to take one for the team i'm going to test this one out give you the full footage of what we get and i would say uh, let's just start with the first one i'm going to just uh, end this video right here or at least the, my part here and yeah guys thanks for tuning in thanks for watching see you on the next video and uh yeah have fun with this first simulacrum of the project and i hope it's going to be 20 of 20 because otherwise that wouldn't be that great so I remember having um, the Delirium boss on my first 2020 and the boss itself, I think it took me like 3 minutes to just kill the boss on wave 20. You probably can track the experience as well. 92. Because these things give actually not too bad experience, but you still have to think of they they take like 20 minutes to run.
That's actually a pretty, pretty bad layout. Sadly, you cannot choose which layer you're, ge uh, you're getting. Then we have now currency and unique item. Ah, uh, that's a pretty very strict filter, yeah. But after every wave, I'm still hitting the Alt key, so I see if I miss something valuable. I trigger spell slinger with frenzy.
Uh, the clear is pretty okay, yeah. But you're gonna see later on on wave 19, 18, somewhere at that point that the damage falls off. And I hope that this time we're not gonna get the boss, because the boss alone took me like three minutes last time I did it. That was a rough boy there. I like the spell slinger better than the regular cast cast. Although I know I have less DPS, but it's just so much quality of life to just press one button and have the chain reaction going off. I don't need to worry about any kind of uh, cast speed or anything like that. Doesn't really matter. But this system kind of reminds me of Grim Dawn with the uh, Crucible mode. Wild Blight really saves the day on these uh, minions cannot die or allies. First boss.
Down the clown. Oh, split personality. Is worth something? Ah, uh, wait, it depends what, cl uh, what, uh, plus ES and plus mana. That might be a big jackpot right there. I'm pretty sure I heard a friend of mine was uh, trying to get one of those, and it depends on the mod it has. And when you combine energy shield with mana, that might be, in this uh, meta here with all these Hierophants, that might be big, big money right there. Can somebody price check me this one, please, in the chat? Plus 5 energy shield and plus 5 mana. <laughs> one says 50 chaos, the other one says 7 exalt, so... What is it? Life index 5x. <laughs> Soul rent additional projectile, probably not. the next boss. Okay, mobs are getting more tanky now. But loot is getting better as well. So we have here a fragment of the Phoenix. Obviously I'm opening those. So, wave 18.
That was a sad loot. Start wave 19. I don't really want to use my Vile Blight here. Not that there is a rare pack with this monster ally immunity. Because that will be hard to kill without Vile Blight. Challenge completed. On wave 20. He's ten. Ugh. These bosses, dude. Holy shit. There? Yeah. These bosses are holy shit. Chain hook damage, elemental resistance, wither, light storm, arc chains additional time, that might be something. Yep, that's one run. 59 to go.